When I first started this YouTube channel, the goal that I made for myself is that I gotta get to 100,000 subscribers, and at that point, I'll know for a fact that YouTube is where my career is. You know, YouTube is where my passion is truly going to be in life for the future. Today, we reached that goal. Today, my friends, we reached a milestone, and I already know a bunch of you are like, yo, where's the hentai with Etika? Where's the cooking with Etika? Where's the this with Etika, the that with Etika? I have to explain to you guys that you need to understand that when I when I put those goals out there, when I put those you know those um subscriber rewards out there, expecting you know okay I'll I should get some more subscribers with this you know I mean I expected maybe within a month or two to be hitting 100,000 maybe in a month and a half, I did not expect to have 100,000 subscribers reached before I moved out of my roommate's place, which is actually going to be happening within the next one to two weeks. So that's definitely rolling along, I, I'm, trust me. But I did not expect to reach this goal before then. I am, I'm so happy behind this goal being reached, man. I'm so freaking ecstatic behind it. Yet at the same time, I'm still living here. You, a lot of you dudes don't know me, you're new subscribers. I'm living in a very stressful, uh, toxic environment right now. Um, I'm in the projects and I'm around a lot of roommates that I just don't like. I'm unhappy 80% of the time and the only 20% where I get my happiness from, 10% from doing the videos that I love to do for you guys and the other 10% for uh, my girlfriend and her being supportive and just you know helping me to just deal and cope with the situation. I'm really stressed out guys and that's why I feel so sad that we had to reach such an amazing goal at such a sad, well not sad, but you know this is a very happy point in my life, you know things are moving forward. My YouTube channels, you know, it's it's gaining a lot of, you know, I mean not a lot, but you know it, the income that I have is enough for me to live decently off of it, you know, and to be able to support my own place too. Like, it's great. I mean I just feel really sad that I had to reach this at such a because you know I expected us to reach a hundred thousand when I was in the new place so that way I could do all those videos you guys wanted I could have the gaming videos out but I don't know man it's kinda like a bittersweet victory for me because I can't do that stuff for you niggas that I told you I was going to fucking do from the get-go when I hit a hundred thousand I can't do any of those things here man I'm here with a like I'm I can't I absolutely can't I want to don't misunderstand me I want to but I can't there's no physical way for me to do so and me enjoy it and me be fully engrossed in what I'm doing it's impossible I, I apologize a lot of you a lot of you old subscribers who have been here who know my living situation please keep the new people informed as to why certain things just are impossible for me and that's the main reason why I stopped gaming on my channel for a moment and I just, I really am so thankful that you guys were able to hit 100,000 subscribers like that. It's an amazing goal. But I'm not just going to give you that bullshit. You know, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know. I'm going to be honest. I knew I could hit it. I knew from the very beginning I'm definitely going to hit 100,000 subs. It's just a matter of when. There's just a certain things that I knew that kind of told me. This is where I belong. YouTube's where I belong. This is where everything leads up to in my life. I mean, and I can go on and on about the reasons. You know, I mean, a few of them, you know, when I was on when I was on 4chan and I was lurking there for years and I finally posted my first YouTube video and I linked it in the random board in 4chan and, you know, and people knew I was black and they still loved and shared my videos on 4chan, one of the most hateful places in the world. That's one of the things that told me. There's a sign here, Desmond. There's a sign here that you know, this is because you loved doing that video and they loved the video, but you know how hateful 4chan can be, you know, trolling or not. There's a sign. And from that moment, I kind of, from, and you know, a lot of other moments that happened too, that it's just gonna take too long for me to name, I knew that my life as a content creator is where things really belonged. That's why I put so much of my energy, my passion, my consistency into this because my, first off, this is what I love to do. I mean, I, I, had, a, I had a fetish for creating professional looking video with non-professional tools from when I was in high school. A lot of you guys know how old my original YouTube channel was that still relatively, well no, it's not active, but I mean, it, it's still relatively public and it's just amazing that I managed to reach this goal with you guys. I knew I could do it. I'm not even gonna bullshit you. 
I knew I could fucking do it. Not to sound conceited or whatnot, but you guys definitely deserve just as much credit as I do because I wouldn't have been able to make it here without you guys coming back and saying, this nigger's cool, subscribe. I mean, there was just a lot of time, like there was one point in my channel where I was really depressed. I never really got close to, I, I got close to actually like saying, okay, I, I'm just going to give up everything on my channel right now because it wasn't really, I was just, just so depressed at one point with it and then things just turned around and I realized that you know what, I have to make sure I bust my ass. I have to make sure I bust my ass. Even though this is my passion, I love what I do. At the end of the day here, if I'm not consistent with what I do, if I'm not rel um, if I'm not um if I'm not relevant with what I do, if I don't post things that make sense, if I don't post things that people can equate to, no matter how passionate I am about it, it's not gonna fucking work. So I I kept telling myself in that depressed stage, you know what, Desmond? Like, whatever you're doing right now, it's not working. You know, you don't feel motivated to do the videos anymore because you're just not seeing the same results that you were before. In the Attack on Titan phase of my channel, my channel, my videos were getting like 23,000 per video, per video, 23,000 views per video, and it just kind of like slowed down after a while, and I didn't understand why, and I just kept saying, wow, I guess people just really don't like my content. And I kept pushing it out there, but it was something else. It was just me not realizing that I wasn't posting consistently. And there's a lot of stuff that I learned on this road of my YouTube channel here. But I'm just glad that things worked out the way they did and that I was able to continue living my life doing what I love to do as my primary source of income. I feel more confident in the future now than I ever have in the span of my lifetime from when I started college. I, it's, it's, it's amazing how I feel way more secure now in my future than I do with college. But I just know that this is where I belong. I mean, I've always spent my life on the internet, and I always will. It's kind of like a hand-in-hand -hand match, you know? Ebony and ivory go together in perfect fucking harmony. Anyways, guys, like I said, this is not a video telling you that I'm not going to be doing all that stuff that I, uh, that I promised. Hentai with Etika, cooking with Etika, the main things, those are definitely coming through. But then there's so many other subscribers that want other stuff too. There's so many of you that want more Five Nights at Freddy's 3 videos. There's so many of you guys that want the Pokemon video, that want the AOT videos, the Fire Emblem especially. It's all coming back. I gotta say a huge thank you to you guys because this is the only channel that I think I know on YouTube where they could cancel major, major enjoyed series like that and postpone them for the future and people not get that upset. People would get questionable with me. They would say, you know, Etika, where the fuck is my segments? But no one would ever get as upset. Like, like the people who were upset, they were like kind enough. You know, I, I, I just suggested everybody, you know, if you really don't want to see any other content from me but the ones that I was doing before, then please just, I don't want you to be upset, just unsubscribe. And there are many of you that did unsubscribe without saying anything that, you know, were like, you know what, Etika, it's fine, I'll come back in the future you know, when you have what I what I like. And for those of you that stayed for my personality, you guys were amazing. I had never seen so much support for somebody ending something that was so loved. I've seen channels end their main series or things that they do regularly and t take the fucking bullet for it. But not me, not me, not you guys. Not you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers could deal with whatever I put out there and you were willing to support it. Not saying that I would just put out random shit which I kind of did at one point, and I feel like even now my videos are pretty damn random because I'm not able to work on them the right way. I only have five hours in a day, really, to work on content, to record videos, and then the rest of that time is spent in a hot-ass room with people talking over each other, noise interference, and just uh, and just un discomfort, working behind a fucking shower curtain. Can you understand? Can you understand where things are with me right now? That's the main reason why I can't do anything. I would love to get into live streams more. You know that's gonna happen. I bought a fucking masterclass PC and it's going to go into good use as soon as I'm able to get into this place. So I just want you to understand that, that this 100,000 subscriber special is not being canceled. It's being postponed into the very near future. After I move, Right away, that's when we start celebrating 100,000 subs. The hole in the shirt story with the dinosaur, everything you guys wanted, it's gonna happen. And 200% on top of that, cause I got some shit right now that I wish I could show you. Woo! Let's just say things are taking a real revamp turn, baby. I got a lot of big plans for this channel. We have finally reached 100,000 subscribers though. Give yourselves a round of applause. We got some fucking plans, man. And I'm telling you dudes this right now, you ain't gonna see this shit coming. 
You, you're just not. You're just not. This is where the shit begins, in all honesty. 100,000 is where everything begins, because everything before here was a trial, a test. Will I be able to really use my passion for YouTube to make a living off of it? Is it possible for me to attempt to have a life based off of YouTube videos? Is it, is it even relatively, like, you have to understand that you cannot do something like this unless you have a burning passion deep in your fucking balls to do it in the first place. And that was the whole thing. From one subscriber to 100,000 subscribers is the test, the long stretch. Will you make it? Are you able? We made it. We pulled out of here. My nigga, we made it. And we are finally past that, that Hallmark goal of 100,000. And I'm ready to begin. I'm ready to start my YouTube channel. I'm ready to move things forward. I'm ready to progress. This is where everything starts. Everything evolves from this stage and everything can only move up. I mean, look at me, I'm fucking moving into a new place. I have a decent living where I can actually eat food now regularly, thanks to you guys. I'm gonna be able to live stream regularly in my new place. I'm gonna be able to make the gaming videos that I love to do once again. I'm gonna figure out what the fuck happens and why Robin is related to Validar and why that's his father in the first place. I'm gonna be able to find out everything about the new Attack on Titan update. I'm gonna be able to bring you guys that Sonic Adventure Let's Play that you've all wanted. Don't think I forgot about anything like that. The Minecraft is definitely coming back. All the people that I haven't been able to talk to, everyone in my Etika squad, that's such a stupid fucking name, but everybody in my squad, I'm gonna be able to talk to you guys finally without having the stress of being in an environment where I just don't want people listening in on the stuff I want. I'm an, intro I'm an extroverted introvert. I'm an extroverted introvert. That's the way I am, guys. I. So I, I had to put all that on hold. I just hope my squad doesn't think I don't love them because I was able to not talk to them for so long. You guys know how stressed out I can get about stuff like this. I care about you guys so much. I just wanted to ensure that we have the prime environment to record our videos and a whole bunch of stuff. Grand Theft Auto V comes out soon as well. There's so much stuff just to prepare and to be ex excited for. This year is going to be an amazing year. It ain't going to be the year of Etika. Who gives a fuck? I, I, I hate, I hate conceited shit like that. Like, my face is already everywhere. I don't want my name being everywhere, too. I'm just excited about having fun with you guys, you know, keeping my views nice and high and producing the content that I love to do. And hopefully the games this year aren't as much of a disappointment as they were last year as well, too. There were some disappointing titles, but still, this year, I'm thinking that things are going to be extremely exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. And this is this is where it begins, baby. This is where everything fucking begins. It all starts now. Thank you for tuning into this video and I hope you guys stay with me for the long haul even further, you know? I mean, now that we're at the beginning of the Etika World Network, man, I really I'm really like looking out for the people who are always there, who are always supporting me from the get-go. And I notice who you guys are. Don't worry, Senpai fucking notices you. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.